All right. Um, speaking of problematic wives. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I mean, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith <laughs> recently dropped her New York Times bestseller, Worthy. And Jada Pinkett Smith did what Jada Pinkett Smith does best, best, which is totally run that bus over Will Smith <laughs> in every way possible and did it in the name of selling books. What is your take on that relationship? Because Will came out and said, I support her, and this is the happiest week of my life. Jada Pinkett Smith is the Michael Jordan of dysfunctional black women. She is, the, she is the Michael Jordan of dysfunctional black women. She is the LeBron James of toxic black women. She has demasculized this man in every shape, form, or fashion, and now doing a media run, making more mockery of the fact. Did you know that Jada Pinkett and Will weren't even together they were separated that night that he went and slapped chris rock for her and it's well, so it's so yeah, he, yeah they were actually separate they've been separated for six or seven years and that night they actually kind of rekindled their thing so you mean to tell me that a man is going to risk his whole career uh uh risk his whole career and that is is amusing to you to the point of now you want to deal back with your husband um after you have publicly just humiliated him, demasculized him, and you fucking your nephews too, you fucking predator. Because the only difference between Jada and R. Kelly is the fact that R. Kelly didn't wait his turn. He didn't wait five years. Jada waited. You all, y'all all messing with your kids' friends, which is despicable and disgusting. And had a man did it, had it been Will, you know what I'm saying, dicking down one of Willow's friends. It had been all over the blogs that he a predator and it's a scandal and everything. But when Jada do it, it's cute. When Jada do it, it's all oh, Jada and August. I've seen her here. And then the nigga didn't even keep it G, Sean. He didn't even keep it G. She over there fucking the nigga and the nigga didn't even keep his mouth shut. He dropped the whole album and the bitch went plastic. So this man, you mean, baby, you mean to tell me you're over here with one of the most powerful black men in the world you gonna go fuck your son's homeboy and don't even got and don't even got enough game with this young nigga to get him to shut up so he gonna drop an album and then he turn out he got a little boyfriend too <laughs> so you have totally humiliated this powerful black man in front of everybody for a nigga that like the same shit you like and then bring Will to the red table so we can talk about it that's why they canceled that motherfucking show, man. God damn it. I, I'm, I'm happy for it. Uh, yeah, well, Jada Pinkett is the Michael Jordan of dysfunctional black women. Uh, she makes it a almost laughable to, to humiliate Will, to disrespect him publicly, uh, crying over another man that's been, you know, passed away, RP Tupac, but crying over another nigga that's been gone for two, 20 years or whatever. Like 27. He, 27. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? On public television, um, it's 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 man, it's almost human inhumane at this point. And you know what? Will is hypnotized. Will is hypnotized, bro. Will can't even see it because when you come in the game simping, and this is the, this is the term we call simp. Will Smith is the poster boy for simp. Uh, when you come in the game simping. And you think that these type of things are right because she has trained you and manipulated you for all this time thinking that these are the right things for this man to endure. Bro, you are Will Smith. You are a king, my brother. We look up to you, my brother. You are fucking up your legacy dealing with this woman. Please, by all means, divorce her immediately and send her back to the luxury apartments in which she came. And she's going to have to goddamn get a set it off to going or whatever, because a lot of the movies that she's been doing ain't been doing well. She is living off your name. She is living off your money. 
And she is living off your fame and notoriety. And now she's using your name to drag you down to keep her goddamn name buzzing. Will Smith, by all means, brother, we beg of you. Real niggas around the world beg of you. Leave her and go get you one of these fly young bitches. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.